Well, welcome back to Everyday. I am thrilled you're joining us. And of course, uh, Natalie at home, we have Sparkles here joining us on the set. That's right. It's my you new are, nickname. I do love that top. Very Me nice. Too. And I think for New Year's Eve, you and I ought to go out on the town together. Yes. And catch some live music. How about it? Okay. Yeah, are you down? I count me in. Why not? Listen to the smooth stylings of Slim Cessna's Auto Club. Now, here's the deal. They're playing the Bluebird this Thursday and Friday night, New Year's Eve. Okay. Spin Magazine calls them the best live band in America. Wow. They're Denver-based. they got a huge following. Sort of a country fusion rockabilly type band. Okay. They're just awesome. Couldn't think of a better way to spend New Year's Eve than over there at the Bluebird Theater. And it says something if they've been named the best live band. I mean, that's... By Spin you know, Magazine. Exactly. Spin Magazine. That's no, that's no small feat. So good for them. Doors open at 8. Tickets are 35 bucks, unless... You're watching this show right now. I want to send you there to the Bluebird New Year's Eve for free. Just go to our Facebook page right now, Colorado's Everyday Show. Make any comment you want about Slim Cessna, the Bluebird, or New Year's Eve, and I'm giving away free tickets Look at to you. the big show. So mm, hurry up. Log online. Go to Facebook. Quickly. Colorado's Everyday Show. Uh, you guys know this. Uh, for many years now, I have been trying to <clears throat> seduce and marry actress Natalie Portman. Ooh. I have a thing for her. You know she's very smart. Harvard graduate. Yeah, and only about a month ago I asked her to the Oscars and she dissed me. Ouch. Now I know why. Take oh, a look. yeah. May I be your date to the Oscars next year? <laughs> Thank you. That's very, very <laughs> sweet of you to say. In other words, no. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, I... Uh, well, um... That was um, a polite no. N -O. <laughs> She totally gave me the old, oh, thank you for asking. Now I know why she dissed me. She's getting married to another man, and she's also with child. Yeah. The 29-year-old is tying the knot with French choreographer Benjamin Mi pie. Oh, mi pie. Mi pie. Mi pie. Yeah. He was the choreographer for Black Swan. Right. And, and a very famous choreographer, dancer and choreographer. They're also going to be parents. Natalie says this morning, quote, I am indescribably happy and feel very grateful to have the experience. Now I know why she wouldn't go out with me. Otherwise, she would have said yes in a heartbeat. If it hadn't been for that Frenchman and that baby, I'd be going out with and her right now. you're a better dancer anyway. Hey, you know what? Divorce is a painful thing. It's not a joke, but... Nothing can ease the pain like $50 million. Actor Kelsey Grammer, <laughs> Fraser Crane, gonna have to pay up big time. He's divorcing his wife Camille, and it came out this morning they had a prenup, or had no prenup. That oh. means in California, 50 50, split yep. down the middle. He has a fortune worth $100 million. She's gonna get $50 million of it. Wow. How about that? They were married, what, 13 years? 13 years. Yeah. Uh, now, you're too young to remember this, Melody, uh, but back in the 80s, I loved ALF. I loved ALF. I'm ALF, not too young for I, that. I loved ALF. I had ALF. the ALF lunchbox and everything. Oh, yeah. But now the 80s sitcom alien puppet raising plenty of puppet eyebrows with his <laughs> dirty words on these blooper outtakes. Hey, a letter. How brilliant. All right, now I'm not going to play the actual audio for you right. because Dear these are just released Eddie. bloopers, 20 years old. They feature Alf making all kinds of sexually charged comments. He also drops the N-bomb three times in these blooper outtakes. Now, the producer of ALF says it was just on the set fun. Uh, it was a joke. Things were different 20 years ago. People weren't as PC. And he says people need to, quote, lighten up. But it's gone viral on YouTube, millions of hits, as ALF goes off. Now, why do you think it's just coming out now? They just released those bloopers onto YouTube not long ago. Okay. TMZ's been all over the story. And Dax, you guys there at TMZ in Hollywood, you, you broke. The ALF story. Uh, has ALF been reached for comment on this, Dad? <laughs> Well, we have reached out to a lot of people that uh, were involved in it, and uh, like you said, they were like, oh, you know, trying to basically say that humor was different back then, but, you know, it, it's really hard to defend when someone drops the N-word. It's like, it doesn't matter how long ago it was, you probably don't want to defend it. So, anyway, it, it's still causing quite a little upheaval right here. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I watched it on YouTube, and it was shocking to see cute little Alf going off like that. Uh, now, Lindsay, well, yeah, this is the funny part, is the fact that that is the outtake, so they're not even filming and yet Alf is still talking like as in Alf. character. It's not like a, the puppet has his head down. It's like they're still talking as Alf during times that they're not even filming the show. Dax, I'll try to get a comment from my stuffed animal Alf for you. You have a stuffed Alf? Days. Yeah. A stuffed yeah. Alf yeah. make comments Thank you. Later. I appreciate yeah. that. Hey, uh, quickly there, Dax. Lindsay Lohan, uh, she's trying to stay the straight and narrow. What is her sobriety plan? 
This is, you know, I'm really actually impressed with Lindsay. So she's going to be let out on uh, January 3rd uh, out of the Betty Ford Center, and she's wanting to already stay an extra day. She is not going to be going back to her condo. Apparently, you know, that is a place where she uh, kind of uh, did a lot of drugs there and stuff, and so she, she does not want to go back there. She has already a sponsor set up. She's going to be attending a bunch of AA meetings on a regular basis. So I think she, she plans to stay sober after this whole thing. She does not want to go down the road she's been in the past, and she wants to keep healthy. That's great news, and I hope she does. It's been such a sad story over these years to see her fall from grace, and hopefully this will be the beginning of a new chapter. Dax, you're a good man. TMZ.com, my favorite website. If you, if you hunt down ALF, you give me that exclusive, would you? <laughs> Sounds good, Chris. Okay, I think he's I'm telling you, my mom's basement. He's right there. ALF is living in your mother's basement. Yes, that is he, that weird. stuffed Melody. animal's been there for years. That is weird. <laughs> Take it easy, Dax. This is no joke. I, uh, what's wrong? No, no, I think he was telling Dax to stop taking off his microphone so early. Oh, okay. Our producer's talking in my ear and freaking me out. You know why? Uh, my producer knows this. Every chance I get, I show off my whistling skills because I, I believe, honestly, I should have been the whistler for the Andy Griffith show. <laughs> you guys ready for this? Yes. And this is honest. That, that is... Huh? Thank you. Can we get a round little of applause? Love, a little love, get, please. Thank you very much. I do love the Andy that Griffith show. That was actually show. impressive. I'm not going to lie. That was good. Here's a question for you. What is the best Andy Griffith episode of all time? Take a look. Um, don't go trying to make it up. Ain't no use breaking your neck. No, sir, Mr. Tucker. Don't go doing that with your neck there. Now, here's the deal. There's a brand like new DVD chair. out just hey, today Tucker, called The Best of Mayberry. Me. Celebrates the 50th anniversary of the show. It features the top 17 episodes and this one. This little gem called Man in a Hurry, which is about a city slicker that comes to Mayberry, is the top Andy Griffith episode of all time. The first one that featured Jim Neighbors as Gomer. Oh, wow. That DVD is in stores today. Good stuff. You know who I think would be perfect to play little Opie in a remake of the series? Who's that? Justin Bieber. Take a look. Right there he is, uh, shopping over the weekend. Doesn't he look just like a young Ron Howard? He's in Ontario shopping, and apparently this is him uh, buying sunglasses. Right. And his fans spotted him in the mall. They went nuts. Chaos. Chaos at the mall, even though it doesn't look like chaos in this video. Right, well, poor thing's hiding in a dressing room. He had to hide out in a dressing room of yeah. Forever 21 because the fans <laughs> were all over him. And by the way, you know this, Melody, I can relate to Bieber fever because on Christmas Eve, as you know... Right, this was your humble abode on Christmas Eve. <laughs> look at that. I had to I'm... sleep in my niece's bedroom and uh, my niece's bedroom completely covered in Bieber posters, it haunted me like the ghost of Jacob Marley all Christmas Eve there. You can't even see what color the wall is. She's got so many up there. She's obsessed with the guy, I'll wow. tell you what. All right, there you have it. That's your entertainment for this Tuesday. There's a lot more to come on The Everyday Show. Yep, stay with us. We'll be right back after this break. You're going to cook. Oh, boy. I am.